Again, we're fortunate to have head coach James Dickey join us. Coach, if you wouldn't mind, we'll just an opening statement with your thoughts about the game, and we'll take a few questions. I'm happy we won. Uh, not happy the way we played the last uh, seven minutes of the game. Um, there's some areas we've got to get better in. I'm happy with some of the performances of some guys. Tayshon's getting better from the free throw line. There's seven for seven last game, eight for ten for this game. House was terrific from the line uh, down the stretch. A tough day for Joe. I know just, you know, having to go to his uh, grandfather's funeral this morning and uh, uh, you never know how uh, that's going to affect uh, a guy or your, or your team. Um, JJ didn't shoot the ball well. But the thing that jumps out at you uh, are these stats. Now I'll rebound this. 38 points off turnovers and second shots, which is hugely disappointing. Gave up 43 points in the second half. I thought our defense was really good the first half. We had 11 assists the first half. We had two the second half. We had eight threes the first half. We had one the second half, and it was hit by a post guy, Leon. So, and I blame that on me that last seven minutes as far as the offense. We, we have got to get better at finishing games with movement. We held the ball too long. Uh, we waited on ball screens. We ran the shot clock down. We didn't have enough movement. And then we were just not as efficient. And any time you get that lead down to single digits, it's a huge psychological uh, barrier for the opponent. And they, they gain confidence. And then you know, they, uh, they hit some shots. Uh, we were not as tough as we needed to be in that uh, seven minutes. So, but we got a week to get ready, or uh, or we got five days to play next Thursday. The good thing about it is we don't have to take a day off during the holidays, uh, like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We will, all, we will not be off New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So, we have a chance to get better uh, over the next week, and uh, we plan to do that. But we had some guys. That, you know, did some good things. Uh, the other thing, we have nobody in double figures in rebound. Nobody. Uh, and we're a better rebounding team. And that's a mindset and a toughness set. We just got to get, uh, we gotta get better in that area. I, I thought we'd make progress. Uh, and I thought we played, you know, pretty well. We got, what's our biggest lead in saying that? 15? That's big, 17. You get 17. You can't finish the game with five points. You can't do that. got to do better than that. What's the coach that you play? Coach, uh, you put JJ on uh, the unit that he got hired in the second half. Did you, did you on, on film do the smaller guys on him, or did you just trust JJ? Well, we had to, uh, we, had, we, you know, the other thing, let me say this, that's a great question. Let me say this, too. The other thing I'm really highly disappointed in is how disciplined we were. Uh, we had, you know, three situations where, as individual players, that all comes to me, we've got to be more disciplined. Uh, but that goes back to your question. Uh, we were one uh, one wing short, and so we were having to play uh, Tion and JJ at the same time, and that's how I ended up on him because we had Tion and Blair at the time, and we had JJ who had a little more experience, a little more physical, and that's why we put him on. But hey, uh, he's had two good games against us, 27 both times. And uh, but yeah, the, the thing that, that hurts you is I thought our initial defense in both halves was pretty good, but the offensive rebound, the loose balls, the 50-50 balls, went to them. They were more aggressive. Uh, they were tougher, and we just we got to get better. And then we came down and were not as efficient offensively, even though we made some plays that we need to. I thought Joe made a big save when he came off a curl, should have rose up and shot it. He yo yo it, but he went and got it, tapped it back in, house got a basket uh, out of it. Tate got a couple of offensive rebounds late uh, that we needed, but uh, he didn't get near as many defensive rebounds as uh, as he needed to. And certainly, for them shooting 34 percent, and I thought that um, you know Chapman, you know he. He really hurt us on the boards. Five offense. He got double figures, and primarily everything was right around the basket. Uh, and he got the free throw line five times, but uh, got a rebound. But that was because we had two little guards in the time. And then, you know, I said something to our coaches when we did have House and him back in there, he stayed on them one time. And then we let Blair get the lay because the House was on him, and we didn't hedge very well. And he got to the middle. That's good. It's a good question. How big were the threes that Young and House hit in the first half to get the big lead? And, and, and was it just bad shots? Or did they do something to take those away in the second half? Do you think? Uh, you know, I thought we recognized 
and took what they gave us in the uh, in the first half. That's a good open look. But I'm, I'm a firm believer. You got you, you still got to throw the ball inside. You take Joe's shot right in front of the bench. It was a three. It came in transition. That's a hard shot where you're running full speed. You got to reach back here, then you got to you got to shoot it. If you go inside, the ball comes inside out. It's a much easier shot. You're already squared up. The defense has collapsed. So we preach that inside out. We got to do a better job throwing the ball inside. That doesn't mean that we don't want our guys to shoot it. But we talk about several things. One, get to the block, throw the ball there, or drive it. Get to the rim by driving. Get to the paint. Get your feet wet. Penetrate pitch. Get to the free throw line. We have got to do those things better. I mean, we shot free throws pretty well, except for JJ. And all three of his were front ends of one and one. But you've got to get to the paint. You've got to get to the free throw line. you got to get to the rim. And you've got to throw the ball on the side. And I didn't think we were very efficient on that. Uh, I'll look at them. I don't know if they did anything different. I thought we had some pretty good looks. The shots that J.J. missed, he was one for seven. I thought he had some great looks. He had a great look in front of our bench. He had a great mid-range shot uh, laid over there. Uh, and then, you know, he had a couple where they, and they blocked it. And, uh, of course, those are attempts as well. Uh, but he's a better shooter than that. He's a better free throw shooter. Uh, I thought House hit some, you know, big free throws for us. And uh, we just, uh, we didn't recognize what the time situation scoring the momentum. You let to take Tayshaun's three-point shot there late. That was the other guy's shot. We, we don't want that shot late uh, late in the game like that. You know, we, we can be going inside and getting five. Now, if you go inside and they collapse, you can kick it out and yes, we'll take it. Um, when I saw when Tayshaun got pulled down for that flagrant foul, Danny Hall stepped in to try to help you know, his teammate out there. Well, you have to see that they were uh, standing up to protect Well, this is why I told our, our team, this is not the NBA. They're not going to get fined if they don't step up. They better get away from the fragrance. This is college, and you cannot leave the bench. You cannot protect. They always do it. They're going to, and, and, and officials do a great job, but they're going to always catch the second guy. That's just the nature of the game. It's been that way. It will continue to be that way. So you cannot retaliate. You, when something happens, you've got to get away from it. You've got to swallow your pride and get away from it. I, I like the camaraderie, but when you run in there and say something, you got a chance to get a technical foul. And you're better off to get away from it, let the coaches have it, and our players know it. I want our guys to be tough, but to me, that, that's not a toughness play. Uh, right there. Toughness play is getting a loose ball, getting a rebound, taking a charge, getting a rebound in traffic, finishing when you get fouled, going to the free throw line, making a critical free throw. Those are toughness plays. Time for one more question. Coach, it seemed very physical today, more than normal. Do you think that was a result of the last game coming up this game? No, yeah, I, I don't think there's any doubt that uh, that played a part of it. And, uh, you know, both teams uh, were out there uh, competing. And uh, I've been at this point if our guys uh, didn't have their uh, steam around a little bit. I'd be at this point if they didn't. All right. Let me just say this to everyone. Please be safe over uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And, uh, Great, uh, happy uh, new year to uh, everyone in 2013. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.